Hello everybody and welcome to the sixth HTML tutorial in my series for Knowledge Highway. Uh, this is my YouTube channel by the way, it's just run by me so I don't know why I say that like it's a group of people, but there you go. So uh, let's get started as we always do by opening up a HTML dot, well an index.htm or HTML uh, file and saved somewhere. Or you don't have to call it index, but that is advised for reasons that I mentioned in the first episode. And we're going to start out by writing out our document as we always do. Just follow along because I'm going to be talking about other things as I do this. So, um, what this is going to be about, this episode, is about lists. Uh, so we're going to be learning about two different types of lists. And also... We're going to be learning about some basic formatting because lists is not a very big topic. But it is a, an important one nonetheless. So, uh, it's important in many ways. Uh, oh, I finished writing out the web page template. Anyway, uh, so the reason why lists are important to learn, it seems stupid now, but it's actually extremely important in terms of things like uh, all nav bars and websites are generally composed of a list. Uh, heavily formatted, but they are lists nonetheless. It's just an important thing to learn. Take it from me, guys. You're going to want to learn these tags, especially the unordered, unordered variety of list. But we'll get to that in a minute. So let's, let's start off with an ordered list. So the first tag we're going to write in is OL. And then we're going to close tag. And then we're going to take two lines. I mean, well, we're going to, yeah, <laughs> then we're going to close tag with forward slash OL, uh, all within your pointy brackets, as we always do. So within this OL element or ordered list element, we're going to add an item to it, because what is a list without items? So the tag for that is open pointy bracket, LI, close pointy bracket. And then as usual, the way that you close that is by typing slash LI. Uh, to close the list element. So, in that list element, let's type an item. So, for example, item 1, because I'm extremely unimaginative. One item is just not gonna cut it though, so let's add a bunch more by adding in more tags and saying item 2, close tag li, and open tag li, close bracket, item 3, and we're going to close that tag by using the forward slash variety. As you can tell, at this point, I'm really not mentioning letter for letter what I'm typing out. So I expect you to have either gone through all the previous tutorials or know to copy out from the video letter by letter. So you know what I'm doing. So let's go over this. We have an ordered list element with the two ordered list tags. We have the each of the individual list item elements within our ordered list elements and each of these has a bit of text in it. Each of these list items has a bit of text in it and that is pretty much the element. I typed four instead of three because I'm very smart. So let's save that by pressing control S or going to file save and let's view it in our browser by double clicking on your HTML file or just refreshing if you've already got it open in a browser and as you can see it has magically put in, in put in these numbers at the side here. It's put in one dot and then the name of our item, two dot the name of our second item, three dot and the name of our third item. So we could change these items to whatever we want. So we could be like, hey, I want to list some fruit because I don't know, I'm doing my shopping and that's what's going to be in the list. So first list item is going to be changed to orange. Grapes is the second one and apple is the third one. So I'm saving. Again, these list items could be whatever you want. I hope you guys have been able to see that the whole time. I'm very bad for not paying attention to what part of the screen I'm capturing. Anyway, so now you can see that these list items have changed to orange grapes and apple, but they are still the first item, the second item, third item. And that is essentially an ordered list. It's just a list of items with numbers at the side. So, what is an unordered list, I hear you ask? Well, it's actually exactly the same, except from instead of numbers, you just get bullet points. 
So let's let's make that happen. Let's change our ol tag or order list tag to a ul tag, which is unordered list tag. Do the same for the closing tag, and now this whole element is an unordered list rather than an ordered one. Control S to save or file save and refresh. And as you can see, just like magic, suddenly we have bullet points, and it's just fantastic. I know. Uh, so, yeah, that's, that's exciting. Not really. But it will be one day when you're doing navigation bars and feeling fantastic for knowing how to use the unordered list tags. So just trust me that this is going to be useful. So, now that we have talked about that, let's talk about some formatting because that's, I believe that's what I said we talk about. So this is kind of an entirely different topic and I don't know why I'm fitting this in the same video, but I felt like it was necessary to cover two things today because I'm super nice in that way. So let's get rid of our code that we've been writing and open up a paragraph using the, well, paragraph element using the paragraph tags, which is, as you should remember, just a P. So let's type out a bit of text. Uh, this is a bold bit of text. Yay! So here's here's the thing. Let's talk about the break tag, which is a very important one, which I have not spoken about yet. And I just realized this. Uh, so let's take a new light and then let's type. Oh, geez. <laughs> This is an italic bit of text. Now, if you save this, as you will notice when you go back to your web page, you try and load it up, but all this is on the same line. But we've taken a new line here. Now, if you were paying close attention through to the last few episodes, you will have noticed that several times I mentioned the fact that white space does not mean anything in HTML. Neither does taking new lines. So you can have as much space as you want. You can add all this and save it and then load it up again and nothing will change. You can add as many spaces here as you want. You can save it. Nothing will change. There's no space. So. With that in mind, how do you take another line? Well, you use something called the break tag, which is just open br and then yeah, we'll just we'll just leave it at this. This is a tag that does not need to be closed, however. Some people like to type it like this to indicate that it is a tag that opens and closes in one line. To me, that is completely unnecessary, so we're just going to leave it as <laughs> a single BR tag or break tag. Now, what does this do? Well, save it and find out. Refresh it, boom! Now you have a new line. So, every time you use one of these BR tags, it will take a new line. So now you can add as much spacing as you want. Yay! This is not the optimal way to do spacing in HTML, as I will teach you the optimum way when we move on to H uh, CSS. But for now, if you're desperate to get all those bits of spacing in your website and you want to take new lines and all sorts, then the break tag is the way to go to do that. The break tag is essentially the equivalent of you hitting enter on the keyboard uh, in terms of what the, the web browser reads it as. So let's save that. So formatting. What is formatting? Well, <laughs> actually, no, that's a bad idea. I was about to open up something like Word, but that would have taken ages. So let's just talk about it. Formatting is basically, well, actually everything we've been doing so far is formatting, but in this case, what I'm talking about today is the likes of centering text or making a bit of text bold or making it italic, as you can see we've written there. Let's actually add a couple more lines. So still within our paragraph element before our close paragraph tag, I'm gonna add another couple of lines like, well, remembering that I need to type BR to take a new line or break, add a break tag. And I'm going to take a new line just so it's easy to read. This is a centered bit of text. Exclamation mark, because everyone loves it when you shout at them on the internet. Not really. So I'm actually going to format this a little bit better by adding some space. As we've been just been talking about, this does not affect the web page at all but it's good to do so things are more readable. 
So, let's make this sentence no longer a lie by actually making it bold. How do we do that? We just use a bold, a B tag or a bold tag. So, <laughs> it's as simple as we've been doing with the other tags. HTML is really a simple language once you get used to the whole concept of tags. Uh, it's really just remembering what letters to stick in your tags. So B stands for bold, save it, open it up, refresh it, and suddenly that bit of text is bold and it's beautifully bold. Yes, indeed. So, well, what about italic? But you can't guess what the tag is for italic. This is kind of blow your mind, honestly. It's I, okay, there, great, great. I love it. And then we're gonna close that tag at the end. So this is our italic element, although I probably wouldn't describe this as being an element, but oh well. It is nonetheless. Uh, and refresh, and now that bit of text is italic. What if we only want to make a couple of words italic though? What if we only want to make an and italic? The words an and italic. Uh, italic. Wow, where did that break tag come from? I hope I did not type that out instead of a slash i. Anyway. <laughs> So if you want to do that, you just move your, <coughs> sorry, move your i tags to go around the text that you want to make italic. <coughs> Gosh, I'm losing my voice from talking too much today. So now, as you can see, only the words an and italic are actually italic. Uh, yes, beautiful. So finally, center, bet you can't guess what this is. Well, actually, to be honest, this does change it up a bit by being called center. It's actually the word center. The tag is actually the word center. I must have said that three times by now. So let's close that on the other side, save it, and boom. Now that bit of text is centered. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this lesson. I better get going because I've got a phone call on the go. So I'll see you guys next time for more lessons in HTML. I hope you join me.